is how to make reverse seared pork chops. Ooh, that's the bite right there. For the seasoning, it's gonna be three parts salt to one part sugar. We're gonna let this pork chop dry brine for like two hours. And to cook the perfect pork chop, we're gonna reverse sear this in the oven. Especially since it's really thick, dude. Into the oven at 225. This has been in there for like an hour and a half now. And it's reading around 130. Don't be shy with that oil. Brush it with a little apricot preserves. And that's what you get with reverse sear. You still want some pink in there. Otherwise it's gonna be tough as hell, man. Some flaky salt. This is pickled coriander seeds. Then you're gonna shingle a bunch of radishes. And I'm gonna sneak some pickled shallots in there too. Here it is, Kuma, check it out. And I'm gonna charge your ass like a billion dollars for this. 